So, you're looking for new artists to listen to. You're looking for some unique music that you have not heard before. Well, I'm about to hook you up with a list of artists that are absolutely amazing and better than anyone in the mainstream right now. Okay? Let's go. Biv, Brevin Kim, Cloud Atrium, Kamara, Killabola, Lil Darky. All right, there you go. There's the list right off the bat. But we're going to get a little bit more in depth and we're going to do kind of an intro to each artist and talk about them a little bit. So here we go. So these artists are definitely unique and are and are likely to be huge and get as big as they want, really. Especially one of my favorite of all time, Blue Indigo Violet, which is the meaning of Biv. I've been following Biv's music for quite some time now, and I remember hearing and seeing some old music videos he had on one of his old YouTube channels that he's changed the name of a few times, and his beat channel. <clears throat> but back in the day, which was three years ago, because I had seen it like late 2015, early 2016, I had seen uh, some stuff on his YouTube channel. But then I went to his SoundCloud one day, and it was the original release of I'd Rather Be Dead. And that song is insane. And I said the first release because something else about Biv is sometimes he'll like remaster an old song or change up an old song a little bit and uh, put it out again or update the track. But just the intensity and the raw emotion of Biv's vocals is it's literally unmatched. The... The alternative, diverse sounds of his music are just, they are literally unmatched. He's from New York. He's also, he also produces the vast majority of his songs. And just the, the level of quality and quantity he has is, is just, it's unmatched. It's literally unmatched by anyone yet. Like, there was a while there where he was releasing a project, like, every month. Like, every month. And I think there was one where we got, like, was it two or three projects in one month? It's it's crazy. I'll show you the just the full I like I literally have folders of archived music from Biv. <laughs> but um right now you can hear the third version of I'd Rather Be. He just shortened it to I'd Rather Be. You can hear that it's on his latest project at the time of the recording of this video. And Biv will always be a special person to me, whether he continues to make music or not, because he's just that genuine and that raw. And someone that even through the different accounts uh, and the beat channel and uh, just the name change. Now, he's never changed from Biv, but just like the channel names have changed, like all different kinds of things like that. But I'm going to I'm going to be making more videos about Biv. But that's the introduction to Biv. Definitely check out his music. Definitely check out his Twitch streams and all that because he's also a gamer. So there you go. And. <clears throat> the next artist is a duo known as Brevin Kim. Brevin Kim is two brothers from Boston that make absolutely amazing music. The first song I heard of theirs was Wings, and it was a sample of Everlong by Foo Fighters. And it's just, I really fell in love with their sound then. And I also seen that they had worked with Biv. And for a while, I didn't know how many people made up Brevin Kim. And I was like, is it, it's, it's multiple people, I know. But is it like two people, or is it more people? I just... I, is it one person? I don't. I didn't know for a while, but now I can distinctly tell Brennan Kell's voice apart, and just the catalog of music they have is also highly diverse and alternative, from like trap to indie music, as well as just creating their own sound. Like I love seeing artists grow, like from this level, like from being under a thousand followers, from just like it's insane. And there's one artist that really was big that I I seen at this at these levels of like Biv, Brev and Kim and some of the other people on this list. And it's just then that was X. And um I seen X's music grow from like I think he was at fifteen hundred followers on SoundCloud. And just to watch someone grow like that is just amazing. And that's why I'm like I'm giving you this list now. I'm actually remaking this video. I made this video in twenty seventeen, but it wasn't very good, so I'm trying to do a better job this time around, and they're just, they have a much la larger uh, catalog of music, so the next artist is Cloud Atrium. Cloud Atrium is a very creative person from Philly, 
who in 2015 I stumbled onto his song, The Lonely Files. This song was, I just heard it, and it just, it instantly hooked my ears with the different, like, layered vocals and just, like, the vocal effects and just, like, the switching. It was just, it was crazy. He hasn't done a bunch of songs with that style, but he definitely has a distinct style, and he does not use, like, the the production style of, like, other music. Like, he, he synthetically, like, or not synthetically, organically makes like all his own like 808s and different things like that hi-hats it's just he has a very organic sound i'm not gonna lie like cloud atrium is just it's amazing and i followed him ever since i heard that song and i also checked out his youtube channel and i've just i've listened to every song and every project since then and just i really think he's crafted his own vibe and his music like many of the artists on this list has like lasting appeal like I still listen to water than plants it's like it's infinitely timeless that album is infinitely timeless I can listen to it like just at any time and I'm like wow this is this isn't gonna really get old I could listen to this years from now and it's like just people that are ahead of their time like that is just why they need to be talked about you know it's time to make these videos about these artists because Pretty soon, you're going to have a bunch of YouTubers making videos about these artists because they're most likely going to blow up. And then Kamara. He's recently gained a lot of fans and definitely deserves it. He's really boiling in the underground for this, like, it's kind of like heavy metal-inspired trap music. It's just like, I don't want to say new metal, but it's definitely, like, inspired by a lot of that. And it's like, I grew up listening to a lot of that as well as hip-hop so it's just it's awesome to kind of see that like form into its own thing in the underground with this like fucking awesome production and just insane like and just hit like he'll hit you with some one-liners that are just funny and beastly at the same time like <laughs> i mean really and truly the producers he works with they ain't playing around either i plan to do videos about underground producers as well so if that video has been made it'll be in the cards if it hasn't been made yet check for it eventually and then the next artist is Killabola. Killabola is also like heavy metal inspired and like alternative trap music and i heard him on a kamara track and a biv track in like late 2017 i want to say and i was just glued by the like the dark intensity and the unique production and it's just like I did some digging and I found an article about him. I don't know if he like wants this to be talked about, about him being arrested for basically like trolling people in real life. That was hilarious. But I might do a, a video on that. And then this is the last one on this list. But I, I actually plan to make like at least three of these videos because I have a lot of artists to talk about. But Lil Darky is a very lyrical, not afraid to say anything rapper with insane production from Wendigo and also just very consistently just it's it's crazy he's also very consistent with his music as of the recording of this video he's dropping a track every Monday and it's just it's great because you'll hear these like lyrical lines and you hear stuff about like society and you'll hear stuff about like politics or just whatever he's talking about like there's a song called 1983 and it's if you've ever read the book 1984 is basically like we're in 1983 and it's just like if you know what happens in that book it's basically like society like the censorship and like all different kinds of things like that and just like things being I'll, I'll do a video on that at some point but and big war like just he has these songs that are just insanely lyrical at the same time substantive and at the same time like ultra fucking banging just just awesome production from wendigo and um he, he he keeps getting plays and plays and plays all the time like everything he drops just gets an insane amount of plays and just consistently growing all these artists are just they're growing and growing and they're building up and, you know, I want to be one of the first people to talk about him. Like I said, I made this video in 2017. Um, and I just, I don't, I didn't feel that that video was very good. So I removed it not long. And there were a few different artists on that list. But Biv was on there. Brevin Kim was on there. Because I've definitely been listening to their music for a long time. And I definitely continue my support for them. 
And so check out these artists, especially if you need some new things to listen to or you're just like, you want to hear something unique because the music in the mainstream, it's really, it all is kind of trash. Like right now it really is, especially in like rap and just like the mainstream altogether is just, it's really not very good right now. Like even artists that I used to listen to and like, like Travis Scott and like Drake, it's just like the the music, there's absolute no uniqueness at all to them right now. And they're just hopping on the most basic production possible. And it's like you listen to these underground artists and they're just like they're they're going all in and they're they're just all the emotion and all the insane production, just the unique qualities to their music. It's just it's better than the mainstream. The underground is better than the mainstream right now by far. And uh, Biv likes to call, say he's in the under underground, like. <laughs> but I don't know. I think that he'll just keep growing, just because is. I mean, I just I knew in that moment when I heard "I'd Rather Be Dead" for the first time. I knew in that moment in time I was like, "This is this is something. This is definitely something right here. That's that's just insane." All right. So there you go. There's some artists to check out. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like. And if you're new, watch other videos. Decide if you want to subscribe. And tell me in the comments below what some of your favorite underground artists might be. And if you checked out some of these artists, be sure to tell me about it in the comments as well. And tell me what you think of them. And also, if any of the artists that I mentioned in this video are watching this video, uh, keep doing what you're doing. And... Uh, really just you keep evolving and it's it's great to see you know i'm glad that i found all this music and listened to all this music at this stage in your career and whatever path you decide to go on even if you stop making music it's just like you already have all this catalog that's kind of like changed my life in a way not every artist on this list i'm mostly talking about biv and brevin kim but uh there you go peace